tick tank prices before we discussed how um, the uh, bullet shaped septic tank was cheaper to install and to buy than the onion shaped tank. So now I'd have a look at septic tank prices regarding installation cost. So if you're wondering what this is, <laughs> all right, so let me try and make some sense. All right, so this is this is number one, right? This is number one. This is the onion tank installation. So there's the tank. And this is number two. Can you see that on the uh, number two? We've got this is the bullet tank. So if you're going to look to put your own septic tank system in, just wanted to show you typically the components that you need and the cost that it's going to cost you to do. Um, so let's just start then with the onion shape septic tank. Let's give it a bit more kind of definition there. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, it was a bit faint before. So that's the onion tank. Right. So the onion tank basically will go head towards an inspection chamber. All right. And then from this, so we call that, so if I put that there, inspection chamber personally myself i like to put in i call them german silt chambers because um whenever you're installing anything you need something to go between the septic tank and the soak away so we'll call that the soak away here right Now, the reason I like an inspection chamber or a German silt chamber to go in between the onion tank and the soak away is because if any sanitary towels or baby wipes go into the tank and then they make their way through here, right, into, um, and there's no inspection chamber there or German silt chamber, then they can go into your soak away and clog it up. So that's the three components, right? So we've got component number one, the onion tank. We've got component number two, inspection chamber, and we've got component number three, the soak away. Here, we've got, in fact, here I'm going to put component number one, uh, and here I'll do the same again, component number two, and component number three. All right, so here we've got the bullet septic tank. That then goes into... Um, a manhole chamber, and then this goes into the soak away here. So I just wanted to give you a rough breakdown of cost so you can see the difference. We looked at the individual tanks before, but if I give you the cost for the entire system, then you can work out which one that you want to go for, which one suits you. All right, so let me just put that in a block there, tidy it up a bit. Okay. So let's say we're going to base this on an installation for a one to two bedroom house. One to two bedroom property, okay? So that system's geared up for the one to two bedroom. This system's geared up for the one to two bedroom, all right? So typically, the septic tank, if I put that, have I got room? Where have I got room? If I've got room here, if I put it all down, then if I put all the costs in, then you can see how I actually come to that then. All right, so we've got our onion septic tank. So let's say you got it cheap, right? Let's say you got it for 599. Oh, okay, that's just off the board. I thought it was. I thought it was just off the board. So what I'm going to do, if I come a bit closer to here, there we go. Okay. So if I break it down here, so I'm just going to make the soak away, just cut it off short a bit and start again. So let's see if we got that again. So, sorry about this. This is what you get on live shows. Everything's live. So at least you know it's not stage managed, right? So, if I start again here, so the onion tank is going to cost about five nine nine. There we go, brilliant. Okay, so that's the price of the onion tank. Then, as we said before, 
it's going to take about two days to install and that's the smallest one right so you've got a higher well actually if we work in comparison okay so that's what that tank is going to cost right so this is the low profile tank here so if i break the cost down here so the, the low profile one is going to cost you about 599 in fact if i start again there you go that's different in cost right so typically an onion tank from one to two bedroom is going to cost you about 499 the low profile one from one to two bedrooms is going to cost you about 599 all right we're getting there now it's been a long day all right now you're going to spend i would say all right so you're going to need a bigger digger to hire a digger to dig the hole and put this entire system in for the for the bullet septic tank i reckon it is going to cost you about 400 quid for the week that includes the fuel and everything like that okay so we're just looking at the digger so if i put digger there if i put digger and i'll put tank here and on this one i'll put tank now for the digger for this you'll need so on this one you can get get away with a one and a half to three ton digger on this one you'll need a minimum of a five ton digger to a jcb so in reality i reckon you're going to be spending at least six to seven hundred quid on this one for the digger right easy peasy now on this one all you need is granular backfill typically you'll need about four ton so you can get it loose for about 35 40 quid a ton so let's say it was 40 quid a ton right for the granular backfill which is sand or just shingle right so that's going to be about 160 quid in 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 granular backfill for this you've got a concrete it in right you can't use granular backfill on the onion septic tanks um if i just if i just move that around there we go if i just put that there then we can see the dig there we go that's better isn't it because you can see it says tank and digger there so for the concrete on there typically even oh, it's going to be cost you at least 400 quid okay so i'm being conservative on this right i'm being conservative very very conservative on this very conservative indeed right okay so we've discussed the digger and uh, look by the way i'm taking it and you're just putting this in yourself you know or, or you've got a mate so you're hiring a digger and you're not paying people to do it for you so that 400 quid concrete on that is if you do it yourself and you do your own mixing if you get a concrete mixer in oh man alive it's going to cost you like six seven hundred quid so so i've been very conservative on the 400 quid there right the pipe work typically coming into the tank into the chamber there is going to cost you how many lengths all right so let's just go for a typical round out figure here the pipe work's going to cost you about 100 quid for the pipes all right so that's a pretty fair estimate okay the inspection chamber is going to cost the same on both of them going to cost you about 149 quid for the inspection chamber inspection chamber is going to cost you the same on this one now this is where again you get a dramatic difference in cost on the onion tank <clears throat> right from the ground to the outlet pipe from here to here on the small onion tanks that is at least a meter all right as you start going up for three to four bedroom five to eight bedroom oh man it can drop from like one meter to three meter below the grass right the deeper you put your soak away in the bigger the drainage field so if i was looking at an aerial view right looking down and this was the manhole chain this was look this was the top here all right that's a circular top so that's me looking down onto there and looking at the soak away the soak away would do something like this 
All right. It can be in a variety of shapes, and it's typically called like a herringbone, right? Herringbone soak away. Now, the deeper the silk away goes into the soil, the more of a surface area you have to cover. Because the deeper down you go, the more resistance that you meet. So typically, a herringbone soak away, buying the orange pipes with the slots in. Man alive. So a soak away for that, typically, I reckon, <sighs> very, 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 very cheaply, right, is going to cost you a minimum of about a thousand quid. Now, these are really loose ballpark figures here, right? Very loose ballpark figures because you've got to buy the orange pipes with the slots in them to do that. You've got to connect the joints. So, I mean, you can do them in various fashions, but oh, there's so many designs I could show you how to do it, but I don't want to muddy the water. So the herringbone system is going to cost you at least anywhere from 800 to 1,000 to 1,250, depending on the depth that you drop it down. So we just use a conservative figure of 1,000 quid there. On the bullet septic tank on something like that because it's so low this is shallow so instead of having a meter you're talking about flipping egg this is a third of a meter right here of depth from the grass you stand on to the outlet pipe so you're looking at about 300 mil below the surface compared to a thousand meters below the surface here so straight away, you're working in the topsoil, which means you've got excellent drainage facilities. And for something this small, all that you need is something like septic tank soak away crates. All right, and the crates just go in like that. And the crates with the membrane, when, so we're not talking about rainwater crates, we're actually talking about proper septic tank soak away crates that are designed for septic tanks. You're looking at something like, for a one to two bedroom house, at the most, you're going to be looking at 499, right? If that. Now, time to in install the onion shaped septic tank and the herringbone system. You're probably looking at about five days. But let's say you're quick. Let's put it at four days, all right? Again, let's be conservative. With the bullet shaped septic tank, you're probably looking at Two days, right? Two days maximum. You can have all this in, in half a day. Let's say it took you a day to do that and a day to tidy up. So there's a difference in installation times and installation costs. So let me just get my calculator here. Now, these are really basic ballpark figures, but I just wanted to show you, if you're looking to put your own septic tank in, the price difference between the two. So we got four nine, and as I said, don't forget, it's only based on very, very small property, one to two bedrooms. I mean, you can start doubling these, these trebling these prices, you know, once you start going up for three, four, five, six, seven, eight bedrooms. So let's just work this out. You got four nine nine plus seven plus four hundred plus one hundred plus one four nine plus one thousand, right? Right, so you're looking typically for an onion shaped septic tank, just adding all those figures up there, you're looking at about 2,848 quid. So you could almost say three grand bar 150 quid. So let's add these up. We've got 599 plus 400 plus 160 plus 100 plus 149 plus 499 equals. There you go. I mean, look at that. For this, you're looking at 1907, right? Now, so almost a thousand quid cheaper, which is a hell of a lot of money. But don't forget, that's not including the VAT, right? That's without the VAT. So let's just do that. So 2848 times 1.2 equals plus the delivery it's going to cost you. You're looking at about three and a half thousand quid, right, to install an onion tank. 
And that's pretty much spot on because if you get someone to install it for you, the going rate's about six to seven thousand pounds. Right. Um, so on this, let's do this one nine oh seven times one point two. <laughs> There you go, including VAT. Including VAT. Look at that. <clears throat> so there's about thousand to twelve hundred quid difference in the installation of an onion tank compared to the installation, say, of a bullet septic tank. Now, yes, there's lots of variables, and yes, I've just done it very, very simple and very, very basic. I haven't included the fact that you could need straps and a lintel for that. I haven't included the fact that you could need a big pump to pump the water out before you put that in. I haven't included the fact that you need to may need to brace the sides to stop it collapsing in. There's lots of things I haven't figured in to this equation, but if you've never put a septic tank in before and you're looking for basic costs for a one to two bedroom property, then there's about anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 quid in it. Obviously, the shallower the septic tank, the less concrete, the less of the size hole that you've got to dig, you know, the quicker it's going to take you and the less it's going to cost. So there you go. So that is typically the difference with septic tank installation, price, uh, installation prices between the two. So um, I hope that's helped. As I said, it's been a very, very basic and brief overview. But if you're looking to replace your tank or put a new one in, it'll give you um, some kind of uh, template or figures to work with. So um, over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to really do um, um, a detailed comparison between the onion tank and the uh, bullet shaped septic tank. Now, just before you think I'm trying to demonize onion septic tanks, I'm not. Onion septic, look, if, if uh, I mean, if you're a farmer and you've got massive JCBs on site and you've got tons of labor and you just want to quickly dig a hole and shove it in and you've got a cement mixer on site because you're doing all your farm buildings at the same time, then, you know, and, and you know, you've got tons of machinery around or you're a ground worker and you, you may do loads of construction and you've got a couple of laborers sitting idle and you just want him to dig a hole and shove that in the ground. And the, all right, you know, they're OK for, for that kind of scenario, but they're just old school. They're just outdated. They're old school. They're just heavy, lumbering, expensive, old long hard way of doing things technology's moved on this is this is this is space age technology here it's a lot simpler it's a lot easier and it's a lot cheaper to do but look you, you make your own mind up if you want to go for an onion tank then fine you know some people regardless of what i've said here and the comparison between the two will still go for an onion tank that's fine no problem you know go for what you want but the point is you've now got an overview to see how long it takes and how much it's going to cost. So listen, thank you very much for watching this. I hope it's helped. Um, I'm going to go now back to work, back to the unit, back to do the, um, put the septic tanks out. So you take care now, have a great evening. and I'll be back tomorrow with some more questions and answers.